Republic on Tuesday viewed the much anticipated number 12. Anas Aramiao, Anas's latest In June 2018, investigative journalist Anas Aramiao Anas released his number 12 documentary. He filmed then GFA president Kwesi Nyantechi engage in influence peddling. When you get the contracts, big, big contracts, we can go back and give them more money. Then we take over the whole country. Ahmed Hussein Swale, described as a colleague of Anas, is said to have been instrumental in this project. Shortly after its release, Anas and his colleague became victims of a series of verbal attacks spearheaded by Saint Central MP Kennedy Japan. On the evening of January 16, 2019, Ahmed Swale was shot dead by unidentified gunmen riding motorbikes. He shot him first gunshot before Ahmed moved the car and then the second one. So Ahmed was rushing, so he, he used the car to enter that kiosk, that uh, uh, saloon over there. So he used the car to enter and then the man went there again and gave him the last shot. So maybe three, three gunshots. He followed him into the shot and gave him three gunshots. Ahmed was inside the car. So as uh, he received that two gunshots, the car moved by force and then enter the shop over there. So the car is put the glass and everything over there. He was laid to rest shortly after. There were loud calls for the perpetrators to be brought to book. It is within the bounds of capacity of the Ghana police and the law and order community as a whole to fish out the perpetrators and bring them to book. They have a track record of dealing with such matters. The calls received presidential backing. I am deeply regretful despite the best efforts of the police, the perpetrators of the murder of Ahmed Swali are still at large. But I assure you, this dossier will not be closed until they are brought to justice. Then Director General of Police Public Affairs, ACP David Eklu, gave this update. Found that the 15,000 CD bounty has been placed on any information that would aid in arresting the Eyewitness since I've been interviewed, and as I speak now, six suspects have been arrested, questioned, and are currently on bail. In addition to that, three other persons that we believe may have information related to that matter have been questioned and have been given statement forms to give their statement to the police. They include the MP4 Asin Central, Honorable Kennedy Japan, Mr. Kwesi Nyenteji, and Anas Aramaya Anas. They have all been given statement forms to give statements and return them to the police. Fast forward to May 2021. No one has been charged for the murder. It there, there has been quite a number of unresolved murder cases. Key among them is, is the longer standing Ameswali matter. And indeed, there's a need for a resolution for that crime. Attorney General Godfrey Ibuadami demanded answers from the Ghana Police Service. And indeed, there's a need for a resolution for that crime. Because the resolution will actually even indicate the motive for the commission of the crime. Now it has become, um, it's gained currency that the person was, 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 was killed on account of the work that he was doing. That may necessarily not be the case. It, the person could have been murdered not really on account of, 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 of his work. It could have been as a result of many other concerns or motives. But it can only be ascertained through a resolution of that crime. IGP James Opombuenu gave this response. On the Ames Wale case, some progress has been made in, in terms of actions on the part of police. Um, it may not be prudent to put that out yes, in the public domain. Definitely. Um, yeah. uh, we've taken certain steps in terms of right. investigation and I believe that's uh, 
uh, uh, uh, an, uh, how do you call it, um, a step further yeah, right. than the normal things that we are doing. But for purpose of the investigation, to uh, the sanctity of the investigation, we might not be able to yeah, put it out to the general public. Yeah. So we will not mention it. But when we are alone, we would he will be able to give the details on that. Uh, Only justice will help heal the family of Swali of the pain that his death has brought them. Please come forward. Please give us the answers that we need. Please help us find the people who did this. For now, the murder remains one of the many unresolved cases that has left respected state figure like Mohammed ibn Chambas and Sam Jonah troubled. Security and rule of law. In these two particular categories, uh, we have uh, declined. Slow justice system and some high profile deaths which have not really come out with any clear convictions. Yeah. What is baffling is that those who used to have voices on these things seem to have lost their voices. People speak on issues based on who is in power. It's a definite silence suggesting that we are no longer concerned about issues that we complained about yesterday. The molestation and in some cases assassination of journalists, murder of MPs, corruption, the harassment of agents. Only time will tell when the matter will get some form of closure.